I'm Danielle, and I'm a barbecue champion. For six weeks, I'm traveling the barbecue competition circuit from Texas all the way to Missouri, stopping at every barbecue joint along the way. It's a road trip with all the fixings. 11 states, 22 joints, five competitions. This is Barbecue Crawl. I can't leave the state without going to Stubby's. They've been smoking Q since 1952. But it's not just their meat they're famous for. The Supreme Potato. Hey. <gasps> Killer sign. It says, Welcome Barbecue Crawl TV. Thank you very much, Stubby's. Hey. Very nice to meet you, young nice lady. Nice to meet you. Chris young, Dunkel. First man to call me young lady. That's it. He's my favorite. <laughs> Hi, my name is Chris Dunkel proprietor here at Stubby's Barbecue in beautiful Hot Springs National Park, Arkansas. Yeah, my family bought the restaurant when I was three, so I kind of grew up with a knife in my hand, got barbecue in my veins, and as I grew older, I wanted to make sure that this continued for years and years and years to come. We love having out-of-towners. Chris and his mom, Susan, run Stubby's. And I love her. She's my mama. Originally from Manhattan, the Dunkel family tried their best to understand Arkansas-style barbecue, and boy, did they ever. The food's always good. I get the baked potato every single time, and it's always perfect. You can tell it's freshly made. It's not something that just comes out of the tub. Excellent food, excellent consistency. What's your favorite thing to eat here? The ribs is the best. It's all good. <laughs> all right, so this is pretty cool. We try to have a little eclectic character here when you roll into Arkansas. Barbecue, one thing you have to remember is that it can't be perfect. You can't have tables that match. You gotta be sure you see the wood when you walk in the door. If they own a microwave, run for the hills. And everything's cooked on the pit, from the beans to the potatoes. They don't have microwaves, they don't have deep fryers, they don't have anything but a barbecue at Stubby's. Yeah. It's got six shelves that rotate. You can fit eight slabs across there. Yeah. So you can get 48 of those slabs in, at one time. Oh, it's like barbecue nirvana, man. It's awesome. So these are gorgeous. Oh. That's some sexy rib action that, right I mean, that's, there. That's, <laughs> you need to work on your teeth there, doctor. Now we got a little pork action. Oh, when okay. It's just going to come right off of there. Get out of so my way. The diva is becoming a diva. Right. Some of us can't resist pork. All right, guys. And this is some fantastic pork. All the beef and all the pork we place on in the evening, night before. So, so it'll how many cook, hours? It'll cook from roughly 7 in the evening till about 7 to 8 the next morning. You use hickory here? Anything that produces a fruit or a nut, yeah. you can work with. This pit is really, really quite unique. It's a rotisserie pit that runs on wood. But you know what my temperature operates at? Double zero. I don't even know what the temperature the wood, is. The wood tells you how to wood go? tells me, the barbecue tells me. So Chris, the owner, is an absolute barbecue purist. You can just look at it and you say, OK, it's coming off. It's ready. So you are an intuitive pit master. Oh, nice. <laughs> Their supreme potato is enough to feed an army. Oh, good god. The finished product, the supreme potato. <laughs>
now, now the topping. Toppings? It's orgasmic. <laughs> oh, good God. The finished product, the supreme potato. Hey, this place rocks. So what do you want to try first, Andy? I think I want to go with some of that uh, supreme potato. <laughs> Call dibs, man. Take a look at the pool of butter it's in. You're such a barbecue freak. There was some barbecue fat and some juice in there, and, but it was still good. Yeah, I wouldn't do it twice, but I did it once, and that's good for me. So there's beans, there's pork, there's cheese. There's, like, everything in this. And your taste buds are going like. It's like a barbecue party in your mouth. It is. Exactly. It is. Their supreme potato is enough to feed an army. Oh, yeah. And it actually is really good. I'm going to go for a rib. Pure barbecue essence. I love good barbecue chicken. We haven't had a lot of chicken. I've never had a smoked potato salad. This is very new. <laughs> Golly. Here, we got some moist brisket. I'm trying all the stuff, but I keep going back to this thing. Oh. Wow. I love double eggs so much. They're really good. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't say anything else other than we will be back. Cheers. Really Thanks, guys. Thank you. Stubby's has done, I think, a really phenomenal job with <laughs> establishing their own footprint in Hot Springs, Arkansas. Barbecue is about being boisterous, and that's the thing. You just have to put everything into it on a daily basis. Keep the passion. I think I want to adopt the owner as my brother. He's amazing. You know, I just belong to a much bigger family. It's the barbecue family. This is Barbecue Crawl.